Good afternoon, and my name is Brian Olguin. I am here with your latest news. The iPad Mini made its global sales debut on Friday, but the lines of fans outside many stores, such as the Hong Kong flagship store, had much smaller lines than previous Apple debuts. The cost of the new iPad Mini is a, com is a complaint among many consumers, since Google's Nexus 7 and Amazon's Kindle Fire can be purchased for $200 with similar specs, opposed to the iPad Mini, which sells for $329. Our top story today takes us to New York where we, f we are faced with massive housing problems from the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Sandy, excuse me. Six days after the powerful winds from Sandy knocked out the power, temperatures have dropped so low that residents cannot spend another night in their homes. According to Mayor Michael Bloomberg, between 30 and 40,000 people in New York City could need housing. Officials are working on coming up with a solution, but haven't yet. The mayor stated that New York does not have a lot of empty housing, but residents in need can be assured that they will be provided with shelter, blankets, food, and water. Well, that's all the time I have for now. Please stay tuned for more news after this quick break.